I've hit it a couple of times, you should be able to see the spark or spark, and you should see the flame light. Okay? So, the flame is lit, and you're going to have to hold down on this piezo, because if I let go of it, that'll go out. What has to happen is you have to hold this down long enough for that flame to heat that thermal pile up, and the thermal pile will then increase in flow. Okay, so I'm going to let go of it. It's staying lit. Okay, my fingers are not on the pilot. It is staying lit. Okay, so now I'm going to rotate this to on. Now it's ready for me to turn on the front burner or the back burner or both burners at the same time. So I'm going to turn the front burner on and we'll watch how it actually starts. It takes a few seconds. Okay, just started. No, no, don't open that. Let me turn it back off and you can see it start up again. Okay, now that's lit. Now I'm going to light the back one. Now the back one's lit. Now if we leave it, you can go ahead and take your hand off that. Now within a few minutes you'll start you'll start feeling and, and seeing these these infrared drives go start glowing with an orange glow. Now I have the ink alloy and the flavor bars removed. That's not necessary for ignition. We did that so that this barbecue it doesn't discolor the brand new stainless that the client's going to be getting. I'm demonstrating this on a new model that we're shipping. So the ink alloy and the flavor bars are removed just for demonstration purposes on how this lights and, and, and ag how, actually how this system works. This gas is flowing at only a half a pound of pressure, so it's real low pressure and it's really a clean burn.